God, I got a feeling I deserve it. Now I'm only moving with a purpose. The people showing love, but I ain't talking to the service. Yeah. Ever had a chance, was a no name. All season started working on my post game. Now I seen you read this at the phone and they alone. I break them off and send a home. Got a game with no shame. Saying I'm a flop, that's an insult. Chill. Rolling up a J in a raw pace still. Hey, welcome back, everybody. It is We're All In Podcast. I'm Michael Ash. <laughs> My gosh, one day we will get this right. My God, we will get this right. Sorry about that technical difficulty again. Um, all right, anyways, you know, we already talked about our Thursday evening of crap outside, and Mooney's going to put his shorts away. But uh, we got a few. We got a few topics today. Um, I do want to let <laughs> you guys get together, rookies. Yeah. <laughs> hey, we are officially we are officially through Anchor and on Spotify. Yeah, so on we Spotify. we need you guys to go to get the Anchor app. Go to the Anchor website. Look us up and follow us or watch our our episodes through Anchor. If you're at work, bored, can't watch us live, um, and you want to catch the show up the next day, please watch it through Anchor. Spotify. Um, they can find us on Spotify too. You should they? be able to find us on Spotify too. We do have a Spotify URL now, so um, it's big moves for us a little bit there. I sort of like hearing that. Um, also, if you're watching to the show right now, I don't know how many people are. Hit that share button. Hit it now for us, please, and get it and share it every time you watch us. That way, it gets out to your guys' pages too. Um, so we just need to keep sharing us, sharing us, sharing us. Um, but we do have some good things today. Um, we have come up with a new topic. This is sort of this is sort of groundbreaking for us. Um, the new the new segment will be stud or dud. Um, what we'll do with this is every Tuesday um, we're going to think of a player, and it can be major league, it can be NBA, it can be N- um, NFL. Um, we're going to give you a certain stat. No, Brent, not live on Spotify. No, we're not live on Spotify. No, um, it it will be. It will be to where we give you a stat. We might give you a touchdown to interception ratio. We'll give you something. And what we need you guys to do is you will have to like. Thanks, Jenny. You will li- have to like us on Facebook, follow Share. us on Facebook, um, be a part of our group, um, our YouTube channel, a subscriber to our YouTube channel. And what we're going to do is we're TikTok, going to definitely TikTok. Definitely TikTok, guys. We need you guys on TikTok. Um, and we're going to give a stat of this person and. We need you guys who watch us live to answer this either on TikTok or through our group page. Um, do not an- you can answer it on here. If we do see it's a correct correct answer, we're not going to tell you. Yeah, don't don't answer on the live. Answer on the page yep. or TikTok. And then what what the, what will happen is at the end of the month, starting Tuesday, thirty days from then, we are actually going to put the the correct answers in a hat. Draw a name, and then Mike will take you on a date. Um, no, no. Um, Wait, we, well, I thought that's what we're either going to give free T-shirts because we are, we are, we do it currently. Shout out to Drake Fugit, my sister's future husband. He is drawing up our cartoon characters right now. We are going to have. We, we want to try to get T-shirts, and we're also. I sort of want to do stickers for cars or anything like that. Um, but at the end of the thirty days, we will draw that name, and you will get a prize of some sort, whether that be a twenty-five or fifty-dollar gas card or a free T-shirt that month. Um, we just we, we want to try to get we want to try to get our followers up on TikTok, YouTube, and things like that. And you guys are the success for us when it comes to that part. Um, so, just the every Tuesday, stud or dud, be prepared. Let's see how good you guys really are at, at guessing. <clears throat> the players that we have on here i hope you guys are excited for that part um but we will also we we're going to start the day off today um once again we're back with you on a thursday evening um we're going to start this out with a little bit of racing talk um i don't know if you guys watched the daytona 500 on sunday um but we want to touch a little bit about it uh and then we want to move on um so how did john mooney how'd you guys feel about the new cars i liked it Mooney, I I, want, I still want to know what happened with Brad Kozlowski. Why was he just a wrecking ball out there? Why is he just running into people? Was it the car? Was it him? Or was he? Just, yeah, I, I, I've never seen him drive like that before. But he was just banging into everybody. I think he was just. Yeah. It wasn't so much banging into anybody. If you watch, if you watch the race, it wasn't really. He wasn't. He was being really aggressive. He was just aggressive. It yeah, wasn't he, like was, he, he was, was aggressive driving. Yeah. I don't think he was intentionally trying to wreck people. But I've never seen him drive like that before. I've uh, never he, seen him be that aggressive. Yeah. 
a lot of people say he's always like that. Really? He's a bit he's a bit of an aggressive driver. Him, Joey Logano, um, we all know Tony Stewart was real oh, big about it. Oh, I know Tony it. was. Um, I have no problem with it. But I oh, think, no, I'm not knocking it. No, I, I, I think it's fun. It's just what I've never I'm, seen what I'm saying like is that. I think people sort of were offended by it because it was a brand new car. And yeah, they think he was sort of pressing the usual, but it's a new car. So a lot of these drivers really don't even know how – how the car works from the rear end when people are drafting you. So are you think you. he was just driving his style and it just happened to be that the car not used to it yet, yep, so yep. not handling it right? No, the driver's not used hey, to it. Hey, right. this comment's for you. What's up? Dud, LeBron James. Oh, my. Who said that? Who do you think? Brent. Yep. And Brent, you, Brent, Brent's on it tonight, I see. Uh, all right, Brent. All right, I got you. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we just want to touch on I hope you guys watch Fontana. We will talk NASCAR. It will be very brief, but we will come in with a few comments on NASCAR. Um, we did get a little bit of, of, of breaking news earlier today. Um, Aaron Rodgers said he will let the people know within the next couple days. Um, I, wow. I'm no longer going to call him Aaron Rodgers, Aaron Favre. Um, so he's going to let us know in the next couple of days whether or not he comes back or he retires. So we had our takes on that on Tuesday. Um, just wanted to sort of throw that out there to you guys. That he's going to retire? Yeah, you say retire. He's retired. I say re- return for, yeah. for and become the highest paid quarterback in the league. And I think John said he goes to the Broncos if they don't keep Devontae Adams. Correct? Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, so – that's really what all we had so um for that we have a sort of a segment we're going to do today uh where it looks like we got right around nine teams um what we're sort of going to do here is we're, Mooney's going to name off a team and we're going to discuss it's a quarterback it's a team we're going to discuss their quarterback whether they need to whether that's the franchise they need to trade him because they're all they're obviously built to win a Super Bowl now, so trading is the better offer, the better option, or stick with what they got and draft a quarterback and just pretty much rebuild, correct, and go from right. there. Um, so we sort of want to start this off because we think this might run a little longer than expected. You guys give us some takes on what you think, too, when it comes to whether or not trade, keep, or draft. Well, yeah, we definitely want to know what they think, too. Okay. Um, so, Mooney, you want to start so it out? So, uh, here, first team for both you guys, um, Colts. Do they do they franchise with Wentz? Do they draft or do they let him go? Trade him. Get somebody else in there. John? And tell, and tell me why you think what you're thinking. I think they keep Wentz. I don't think he's the, uh, the, the answer there. But I think it's the best option they have right now. I think they keep him. There's nothing in the draft that's going to – Get him. I mean, I don't see any potentially in the draft that's going to get him what he's what any better than what he's doing. I think they keep him, you know, and eventually either draft a quarterback in the future that's going to give, give him a year or two. This is his first year there. Yeah, he kind of fell apart there at the end of the season, but I don't think he did awful. I think he deserves another year. I mean, one year there is not enough. And they're built to win now. Yeah, I mean, I mean they got so, everything in, so in I, place. I absolutely agree with that. I think. I think you keep him, but you do draft a quarterback mm-hmm. in this year's draft. You could do that too. Um, I think you take one if, if one if one falls to you. Um, I don't think you take him in the first round unless someone really plummets down the draft board and you're like, dude, this is a in their eyes a uh, can't miss prospect. But I think you do draft a quarterback and you let him develop under Wentz for a couple years. I see where he did no wrong. He started out the year hurt, you know, um, that got better. He did sort of. Would you say he choked? last game of the year where they couldn't win or was that more the league found out if you snatched Jonathan Taylor away maybe the Colts need more weapons at receiver I, I would agree with that part I don't I don't blame it all on Wentz I don't oh I think the receiving core is weak it's I really weak. do yeah it's, I think weak, it's weak to weak. me yes um welcome Bobby I also, welcome buddy um I, I don't mind with Wentz staying there for another year it's only been one year now there was an alarming stat that was thrown out through weeks I believe, I'm not quoting this exact, but on, I, I believe it was towards the end of the season for like the last five, six games, he was only averaging 152 yards a game passing. It plummeted bad. Why, though? Is Could it I, the receiving? Is it? Yeah, like, is is it, it the, I mean, they don't, they don't even have a tight end, really, do they? Really, they do, but he's not that great. Yeah, I mean, they don't have a lot of... I think what they need to do 
is maybe get him some weapons and see. I mean, you, like you said, I think you said earlier that Ur said Ursay says that they almost want to get rid of yeah, him. Yeah, Ursay, Ursay made a tweet at like two in the morning and said, you know, he's he willing was to move on. He was on his, he was on his scotch, probably man. true. It's probably true. Um, but but they can't cut him. I found this out because it'd be 13, 13 or fourteen million and dead money on the cap, and that's they don't want to go on. They can't so do they want to trade him. Oh, so speaking of cap, real quick, did you all see Green Bay as a made fourteen million dollars in cap space just in the last couple of days? Well, they're trying to they're trying to push Rodgers. Oh, yeah, they're gonna they're, they're to gonna they're, they've they've made a lot of cap space room there. They have. Um, okay. So we agree. We agree. So keep we agree, him. Keep him. He's there for at least another year. Brent says Trubisky will be a starter somewhere next year. I, I, I don't. I, I, think I don't he disagree. I, I think, think he, he should. should be somewhere. And um, then, uh, Bobby said, you know, with Taylor not playing, no play action threat, and absolutely correct. Yeah, yeah that's, that's true. Takes away from that, and and Wentz is big on that. Uh, Saints, what do they do? Oh, first off, they got to figure out how to get under the cap. <laughs> 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 they got to figure out how to get that right. Um, so we're talking, who are we talking about, the Saints, Taysom Hill or Jameis Winston? Um, it doesn't really matter. Jay, Jameis Winston's a free agent. Right? Well, he's a free agent. So we'll yeah, say so Taysom, Taysom Hill is under contract. under contract. So I say draft, bro. I think they just need to rebuild. I Draft, a, draft the best available quarterback. But is there anybody in the draft? That's going to do better than Taysom Hill. Well, no, no, not, not no, we're like saying now, is, not a starter right now, but maybe groom him for like another year. Who, or two who do you sure. have there to groom him? Well, I mean, they, mm-hmm. they're stuck with Taysom Hill, is what that's I'm what saying. I mean, so, there's and, and Taysom so, Hill, I wouldn't want him grooming my guy. Right. So I'm you saying know? they could be they could be better off by drafting and starting a rookie. Is what I'm saying is 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 you might be better off if you can land like a Kenny Pickett or a Malik. But do you think sometimes, like in that situation, in New Orleans, the situation they have because they're literally. There's a potential they could have zero offensive weapons. Do you want to draft a rookie quarterback, have him come in and ruin him? I don't know if you'll technically I mean, ruin look him, at, but, look, I, but I can see what you're saying. You know, there. you're taking a chance on ruining the guy. I mean, look at. But they are. They will, have stated that they will not get rid of Michael Thomas. He is not on the trade block, and they are not releasing. But him. that's and that's a plus. If he has a weapon, and I think if they can keep Alvin Kamara and and uh, uh, keep most of that offense intact, fine. Okay, you got some weapons. But at that point, I think. I think you try to you you try to keep Winston. I think I don't think he's a bad quarterback. I mean, I think, and he made improvements this year when the times he did play. So you're saying so this is sort of a. So you're saying keep Winston and don't draft. So you're saying keep. I I say keep Winston because I know we did Taysom Hill, but right. Obviously, I don't feel him as a threat as a starter. But I think they need to sign a resign Winston. Keep Winston. I think is their best chance to win right now. Drafting Winston's better than the quarterbacks coming in on draft. Hey, I just want to throw this out here. I just want to look it up. Um, the Saints have a guy named Ronald Curry. I've heard the name. Not sure. He's been in the league 17 years. He's their offensive coordinator. He's their quarterback's coach, kind of. Um, and they said he's doing this for the second year in a row now. Says he's pretty successful coach. Um, um Started out as a wide receivers coach, worked up to an assistant. So they say he's pretty good. That could be helpful having a rookie. And, and I understand with John's point, like <laughs> you're going to go off of the field to play. And you're going to be watching Taysom Hill. It's not really a guy you want to watch if he's not really a good so passer. He, so John's but saying, but he's got a keep, good guy on the sideline to help him. He's I, saying keep Jameis is bo- what he's saying. Bobby said, but can uh, they afford to keep Jameis? <laughs> Jameis might want money, and that might be a reason why they don't have it. Bobby said sure. Alvin Kamara will be on work release. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then Bob, uh, Brent said uh, the mock draft has Saints taking Pickett at, at number eighteen, yeah. and that yeah. could be. You know, they could. Yeah. I'm not saying not. I, I'm just saying I think. Winston gives them a better chance to win now, but they may not be able to resign him because of cap. Right, you know, right. that, that's a huge possibility. I, I think there's no. I think with with the Saints, there is no winning now at all. Their team is decimated by the cap. They're losing yeah, players. I think they need to go. Into They're a in a rebuild. rebuild. They're in a rebuild. So if you can draft a quarterback, I think if you got Winston, I think you're you're not getting, you're not going to be able to get a good Winston because you don't have a team behind him. It's going to be kind of like the Carson Wentz effect over in Indianapolis. You don't have enough players and enough weapons to help now. So, I don't even know who their backup running back is, but I could I see know. them. Ta- I can see them drafting a quarterback. I forgot about the Alvin Kamara thing with going on him. We don't know no. what's going to happen. Yeah, right. We don't know. There. Didn't Ingram go back? I thought Ingram went back with the Saints. I don't remember. I thought Mark Ingram resigned. With even them. even then, it doesn't really matter because no, he's like thirty prime. years old. Yeah. Um, hey, I'm thirty. All right, but we couldn't run in the running back. <laughs> yeah, I'm a little older than thirty. But um, <laughs> so what we got next on that list. Okay, let's go. I'm saving it for last. So let's go to the Titans. 
Titans. Titans, Titans with Ryan Titans. Tannehill. I say keep him. Is he a franchise? Or is he just for now? He's, I mean, how, how old is he now? What's his He's age? He's probably 32, 31, 32 years old. I say if you can trade for a veteran, someone that's going to get you to win. If you, that's my take on him. I, but he has potential. He showed that he has potential to win now. He's 33. 33. I mean, obviously, you don't keep him for the franchise because of his age. No, it's just trade, keep, or draft. So, pretty but, much. But are, are we doing it for to, for win now? Or are we doing this for longevity? This well, is going no, in it, the next it, season. This is this is. I mean, you could look at longevity like the Saints is for us a rebuild, so it's longevity. Yeah, so you look at it any way you want to look yeah. at it. Well, yeah. if I'm but going this, if but, I'm going win next season, I say keep Tannehill. Right, and then we're saying is this: uh, the Titans are built right now to win. Maybe yeah. they're just a quarterback away. I, I, I think I think they keep Tannehill. You think Tannehill can get them to that Super Bowl? Potentially. I'm not saying he's an awful quarterback. I don't think he's a great quarterback. But I think with his surrounding, if Henry can stay healthy, um, that's a big factor, him staying healthy. But he stays healthy. They keep the receivers they have. They have potential. They're a tough team. I mean, Vrabel's a good coach. He is. I think Tannehill holds them back. Bobby, they, Bobby said Mitch Trubisky fits there. Yeah, I think if they can land anybody other than Ryan Tannehill, I'm doing it. Is Mitchell Trubisky an upgrade over Ryan Tannehill? No. I didn't think so. I don't think Jimmy I think Jimmy Garoppolo's an upgrade, and that sounds stupid, but I think Jimmy Garoppolo's an upgrade over Ryan Tannehill. Mm-hmm. Um Mitch Trubisky, I can't say that. Jameis Winston is an upgrade over Ryan Tannehill. Um I just we've seen it back to back to back years now with Ryan Tannehill. He he has the weapons, he has a monster. They I mean they have had a sort of a mediocre defense, but he was the sole reason that they lost against the Bengals in the playoffs. Him and him alone. Um, he, the dude just, I don't, he, to me, he sort of reminds me of a poor man's Kirk Cousins. Dennis says trade, trade Tannehill. Yeah, if you can trade for a better quarterback, I think you trade. That's a tough one for me. Um, I, I partially agree with John saying that maybe he's the guy, but then I understand what you're saying. The last three years, they've been there and they've been put out every time. And this last performance was literally solely on Tannehill and it was bad. Um, so I guess for me, it's they're in a win now situation, so there's no draft in this. No, there's, yeah, if there's you can no trade to upgrade the position, trade it. If you can't, try to ride it with Tannehill. Is Tannehill your franchise? No, he said Mac Jones gets to the Super Bowl before Tannehill. I could agree with that. I could probably agree with that. Yeah, yeah. so I let's mean, go. Um, uh, let's go with the Washington Commanders. Oh, the commies, the commies are <laughs> in the building, they better trade. Trade? They better trade. You don't like I Taylor say, I, I just don't. I don't have faith in him. Really? I don't. The I dude's like thirty him. some years old. Thirty two, something like that. Thirty one, thirty two. I know he's up there. He's thirty or something. He's been in the league like seven, eight years. Yeah. Well, he's been around football like seven, eight years. I'd probably say he's probably right around thirty years old. Yeah, That's he might guess. be thirty. Um, I say, I say, trade. Um, Washington didn't really have a bad team. Just didn't have a good quarterback. And I can see that. I don't. I just don't know. If they can trade for something. Well, he's 28. 28. He's 28. Yeah, he's 28. Oh, I, um, for some reason, I yeah, think he I thought he was older, too. Well, yeah, he came into the league, what, 21 years old, I think? Something like that, but he's bounced around everywhere. Motherfucker's like Brandon Whedon coming in like 26 If I said old. this, <laughs> yeah. I think if I'm Washington. You guys wish you would have drafted him, don't you? I, if I'm Washington, no. If I'm Washington, <laughs> I'm looking for a better option, but I'm still drafting a quarterback. Okay. That's just me. If you can find a better option, because they are built to me to sort of win now. <laughs> Brent said Tannehill equals Dak. <laughs> He's blown out of his mind. But uh, he also thinks Jordan's the greatest player ever. So yeah, and he thinks Justin Fields has the capability of being a good NFL quarterback. Right. Brown showed um, you that. Uh, so if I <laughs> if I if you can trade for something better, is Washington in a win now situation? Are they are they built to win now? I think defensively they're they're built to compete. I don't know if offensively they're a Super Bowl contender even with a quarterback. I think their running back situation is iffy. Antonio Gibson, I just I'm not, he can't stay healthy. Yeah, I'm That's not only sold it. on him. When he's I, healthy, he's good. Yeah, I like Drew said Washington trade for Wilson. That's exactly. I was waiting to say it. Drew jumped the gun on me. I was saying you, you trade for Wilson. If you can get Wilson, then you don't draft. I don't, I don't see I Wilson don't, leaving. Seattle. I don't see Wilson leaving Seattle. I think he's one of them rare breeds. That wants to play for one team and one team only. I just I think most quarterbacks do. No, I think he's de- dedicated to them, whether win or lose. He doesn't want to go nowhere. He he's poured his he's put his heart and soul into Seattle. 
So even in in, in the worst times, I don't think he would want to leave. Is my point there? Uh, if you can get Wilson, you don't draft nobody. But I think even if my personal opinion, even if you land Wilson, I'm still drafting somebody. That's me because I think Wilson's. You know, you might get three or four solid more years out of him. In the league, 10 years. Yeah, so it's like. Well, I mean, he's only 33. He, he could play to 38, 39 years I, old. I, that's why I said three or four good years. You know, then he starts to tailor off so you can get a guy. Wilson's that old? Yeah, he's. 33, he, I think, 32 or 33. Yeah, he's like 32 or 33 I mean, Tom years Tom Brady old. didn't tailor off. I'm not putting Tom Brady. I'm not putting <laughs> Russell Wilson on Tom Brady's <laughs> level whatsoever. Um, so you think you think they draft. I think you have to draft a quarterback if you're Washington. Unless you can get somebody like Wilson. No, you draft a quarterback no matter what. No matter what. No matter you're, what. You're in draft. You're yeah. draft. And you, you say draft? Or did you say trade? For the, I said Washington. Trade. 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 So you're trading. And I, <clears throat> me, I, I agree. I'm, I'm, I'm with Drew. He said, Gar- uh, D-, D said Gardner to commies, and then Bobby <clears throat> said, I seen them trading for golf picks in the DE, in the defensive end rumors. I don't. Well, I did see that they're willing to give up Chase Young I did see for a too. premier quarterback. Yeah, I can see that. Could you see them throwing in a second-round pick and Chase Young to say Seattle for Wilson? I don't know why you'd have to throw anything in. Uh, you might have to still. Why? But why? Because it's but Russell him Wilson. leaving that defense, that's going to hurt that defense. That's going to kill it's the defense, hurt that defense. But why? I mean, you get a young, potential all-pro every single year to give up a 33-year-old quarterback. I think that's the best guy on their team is Chase Young. <laughs> Just about. I mean, yeah, I think he is actually. Yeah. So I mean, they got Sweat on the other side, who's pretty tough. Yeah, Terry he McLaurin, he at receiver, no who's pretty tough. Um, yeah, he probably is relatively close to being their best player. <laughs> he's one of the top five defensive ends um, in the league. I mean, that's, so we got right. trade, <clears throat> trade, and I say draft. <clears throat> all right. So let's go with the uh, Philadelphia Eagles. What do they do there? I think they they stick with who they got. I do too. Jalen Hurts was not a bad Is he the franchise? I think he's the franchise. I, yeah, I you think, think he has the potential franchise? to be. Yeah, yeah, I do. I do. I think they can. I think you, you give him time. I think he's got the capability. Dude, I had him on my fantasy. That boy put me up some points, bub. <laughs> hey, talk to people who own Kirk Cousins. He put him up points, too. But did he, But but Jalen did. And they got to the playoffs. And then they got beat down. It's his first playoff run, it, though. It it's, too, it's expected. Uh, yeah. I, it's expected. I mm. mean. I think if they give him better surrounding, beef up, make the Eagles' defense a little better, uh, and give him another offensive weapon, I think he's legitimately has a legitimate chance to be a playoff contending team every I year. I don't know why he couldn't be up there in the realms of of um, Kyler Murray talk. He can be just as good as Kyler Murray. Oh, yeah, Murray. he has a very good He very might not be as accurate as Kyler Murray, but he has every ability to be that severe dual threat. <laughs> Um, quarterback is Jalen Hurts the Donovan McNabb that Philadelphia's been looking for for years? I don't know if they've been physicality. Searching. No, because I think Donovan McNabb no. is more physical. No, I mean the stability at the quarterback position since McNabb. There has. Oh, really I can been agree there. with that. I oh, yeah, the stability. Yeah, I could agree. That's they think they after might McNabb have that. went to Mike Vick, McVick, from Vick to. Uh, Foles from Foles to Carson Wentz. Carson Wentz. Carson Wentz now to, to Jalen Hurts. And I still think Carson Wentz was done dirty in Philly. I don't care what anybody says, but I think he, they were not having this conversation if they would have believed in that man. Well, the funny thing going back to that was the Colts are willing to move on from him after a year. So what's going on with Wentz? It, it doesn't. It, it yeah, sounds like the owners wanting to move on. It doesn't sound like Frank is one White. of the hardest coaches or hardest owners to please. You know, he's you know you got to remember. Who Ursay used to have? Peyton hey, Manning. And Andrew Luck. And, Andrew and, Luck. and then went from Peyton Manning to Andrew Luck. <clears throat> so, I mean, he's used to having cream of the crop quarterbacks. And if they want to play that game, that Russian roulette of keep a quarterback, get rid of a quarterback, because that's what they're doing. That's going to hurt them more than anything. Then they can sit and be mediocre football team and, and waste the talent of Jonathan Taylor if they want to. Yeah, that's they can come them. talk to us Cleveland fans about that. We know all about um, that shit. So, you, okay. I, I say keep. You say keep. You say that's a keep. You say yeah, keep. He's, uh, I, think he, I, don't, I don't know if it's... You guys say saying? he's the franchise. Drew, I don't know if he's franchise. I, I think, I think he franchise. has more to prove. Drew but said keep there. him. Drew said keep him. Yeah. And I think he said, you know, Drew's a green could be uh, uh, Kyler Murray. Kyler Murray. And then Bobby said, how much money do they have to spend on free agency? I, I'm assuming he's talking about the Eagles at that point. Um, I don't know people's caps right now. I don't know everybody's <laughs> when caps. When I said Ursay was drunk on uh, Scotch, he said in Captain Morgan. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, let's go to the uh, let's go to the Giants. I draft Danny Dimes. Draft, 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 <laughs> draft. You didn't even wait. I was going to John first. Draft, he draft, draft, to draft. Jump all over that. <laughs> I think you could draft or trade there. <laughs> Can, <laughs> can you trade Daniel Jones? Is anybody willing to I trade think, for him? I think someone will give a fourth or fifth round for him. He, oh. Someone can, has to fill with his. With but let his me ask height. you something. Let, let me ask you something. Do, do we really want to point Washington's losses and the way they're playing? Giant. All on, Giants. Or, Giants. Giants, I mean. Yeah. Uh, all on. No, no, no. Not Absolutely. all on. Like 90%. <laughs> <Every single> 90%. <laughs> 90%. <laughs> 90 for sure. That dude, I don't He's understand. He's horrible. He is, he is Drew Locke. He, bad. He he sucks. Yeah. He's just not good. Literally. I think why I say draft, 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 draft. The Giants need so much help. I don't even know where they want to go with their first their first round pick. I don't know if you trust Shaquan Barkley. I don't know if you trust the receiving core you got out there. I don't know if you trust the head coach. See, that's after what you I just mean. fired one and brought another one I don't think we in. point that blame all on Jones. I mean, he couldn't keep no, a no, good no, back. No, hold on, no, hold on, hold on. No, he his receiving core is awful. We're, no, not he's say, we're not saying that, that everything with the Giants is but we're only We're only talking about the quarterbacks here. Are they good or not? Danny Giants is not a good quarterback. That's yeah, what this comes led, down to. He's led the league in fumbles. We know that they've lost games also would, on everybody else, To be honest else, with you, and I know this is going to be complete controversy, I would love to see what he could do. With a healthy line, uh, running back all season and a good receiving core. Well, we did see him with a healthy running back in Shaquan their first year because Shaquan had 2,000 um, total yards in, in his rookie year. That's when he blew up. But ever since then, he's been hurt, and they still weren't really all that relatively and they didn't good. Have, but they didn't really have any – Giants aren't known for having – they've had good receivers, but they haven't had any in the last couple of years. Well, they had Kenny Galladay that same year. That he went 2,000 – uh, Yeah, then he ended up – yeah, he ended up – end up dipping out um they had i mean i don't know if you guys are real huge on sterling Shepard, but no. i don't think he's a horrible he's receiver not he's not horrible but i don't yeah. put him up there so yeah. i mean he's he's a nice little slot receiver if you want to third put him out. he's yeah. not a one or two he's a third um i just i just uh, <laughs> Drew said dumpster fire. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't like it. I think the dude I think the Giants are the most fucked team right now. He year, he is really, sort of he is sort of like Dwayne Haskins. Like maybe if you if he got to sit a couple years and learn a little bit and understand the speed of the NFL, maybe he gets a little better. I highly doubt it, but just maybe. Um he has potential. He does. I'm not gonna say every every NFL quarterback has potential. They wouldn't be in the NFL if yeah. they didn't. Um I just think the Giants maybe they regret that decision, but I just think they need to move well, on. And the, and the thing is they remember they hired a new coach, so New coach wants his guy. Danny he isn't said he's, really it. And Bobby I know he said he might. I'm, I'm assuming he's talking about Kenny Calladay. He Kenny, played. Yeah. For, uh, he played for the Lions. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, so Bobby him. said, "Oh my God, he sucks. He never played a full season for Detroit." Oh yeah, and Kenny Kenny Galladay has. Oh, that's where he was drafted. That's where he come from, Galladay. Yeah. He had a, he has a huge ceiling, but he's only going to give you like eight games. I mean, he's he does always seem to get hurt, but he, his ceiling, he has the ability to be, he has all the tools to be a number one receiver in the league. He just doesn't have the body to be one. That um, sucks. Huh? <laughs> That's, that sucks. That does <laughs> suck. Uh, sort of like, you know, Mike Williams, Roy Williams, you know, all them guys who come in the league that had super high potential, and it's like, what the hell? Roy Williams did good, what, his first year or two? And he was all right. Of- he was all right for the Lions, and he was he was sucked for us. I mean, it's that's what sucks is you have the make and the build and the potential to be a great receiver, and you just can't. Miles Austin couldn't stay healthy. He was a good receiver. He was a good receiver. He couldn't stay healthy. Yeah, he was a good receiver. He that would was, have had a really good career, but he couldn't stay healthy. He had the world's biggest thighs for he, a receiver. Yeah, I don't yeah. understand why his thighs were so big, and he always had hamstring. Every year, Miles Austin, Austin Miles, however you want to pronounce his name, is Miles Austin is his actual name, but he was always <laughs> – Glad you clarified that hamstring issue because people always do it all the time. You can say it either way and it sounds okay, but it's Miles Austin is his name. But you said Austin Miles, didn't you? No, I said Miles Austin. Yeah, Miles Austin. Um, he went to you guys. I know. We yeah. got him for a year. And, yeah. Um, I think like the fourth game in, he, he pulled a hamstring. He pulled a hamstring every single time, dude. <laughs> so all the time. He was like lingering all year long. All right, who we got? All next? right, so let's move on to we got the Steelers. What do they do? Trade. And they're, they're going with Haskins, aren't they? Uh, Apparently, yeah, they say Haskins. What they say. Yeah. What'd you say? I say trade for somebody now. They are built to win to right win. Now. Either way, get to get to get it rid of him. <laughs> um, he's like I said, he's the Dan, he's the Daniel Jones. Has he learned? 
Because Pittsburgh has that ability to make some of these crappy, crappy hey, quarterbacks. Miles Austin's the one who dated Kim K. Drew said. <laughs> <laughs> and then Bobby said none of water causes hammies. That's true. I got to stay hydrated. Or just superhuman <laughs> thigh muscles. Well, you really drunk that ass. <laughs> I, just, I just don't understand why his legs were so darn big. I put Dwayne Haskins on the same level of what I watched uh, Trevor Lawrence or, or Justin Fields. Or Baker year. Mayfield. Or, yeah. I'm just kidding. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Baker, it's, he's not good. Bobby I don't, said Jimmy I G see. should go there, evidently. <clears throat> I remember I said in ours, I said uh, Garoppolo to that to Steelers. Oh, I think Garoppolo to Steelers is beautiful. I think it puts them in another in a Super Bowl contention. They say that's a potential place for Aaron Rodgers, but he's at that age. He's going to go somewhere warm. Yeah. If he does leave Green Bay, yeah. he's going to go somewhere a bro- warm. A broadcasting booth. That too. Does he go <laughs> Speaking of broadcasting booth, uh, did you see Aikman? Is yeah, now no with, one, uh, yeah, no, he's yeah. going to <laughs> Monday Night Football. He likes to smoke. I hey, think. Fox News said that's good. Or not Fox News, but... Uh, he was on NBC, wasn't it? Yeah. NBC. And they said that's going to be hard to fill his spot. No, it won't. <laughs> Ouch. It won't. <laughs> I, like, I mean, I'm not going to shit on Aikman. Kim, I like Aikman. Kim K has, dated everyone. I mean, that's true. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't think Troy Aikman was a horrible, horrible announcer. He's uh, not as bad as Chris Collingsworth. I love Chris Collingsworth. I absolutely cannot. I think Chris is just that kind of guy. You know, <laughs> he just he always finds the positives. Don't ever do that again. Dude, he sounds almost just <laughs> like him. Then he does John Gruden. Do John Gruden. I can't. Do John. Come on, do it. Man, I'll tell you, that guy right there, man, he's going to be special. He's going to be an announcer, man. I tell you. That <laughs> kills me every time. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> that should be a boo. No. Dude, that shit <laughs> cracks me right up, dude. Well, I'll tell you, we'll get another podcast guy over here, man. I'll tell you. <laughs> I'll tell you, that guy right there, you know, when he runs, he runs. But when he doesn't run, he doesn't run. And then That's, sometimes he doesn't <laughs> run at all. And when he catches that ball with just his hands, he can be an elite receiver. But when he uses his body, which is more often than not, he's not a good receiver. <laughs> That's Chris Collingsworth announcing a game. I'm telling you, he says the dumbest, most hypocritical They're stuff They're going to draft the Rogers, next time we don't have a draft. Rogers has that what? face that everyone wants to punch, Bobby said. No, that's, he that's has, Rogers has that face that makes him want to smoke weed. What? <laughs> no, that's, that's Aikman. You see Aikman, they show that dude is burnt <laughs> hey, I think Aikman's single an time. alcoholic. I don't think he's I think he drinks too much. You got to speak it. like uh, uh, John Gruden the rest of the show. <laughs> Man, I'll tell you, that's kind of easy for me, man. I'll tell you, right there. It cracks me Let's up. Let's move on to the next team, man. You're Chris Collins. <laughs> it the show. cracks me up, dude. It kills me when he does um, that. So I got two more here. Um, Wait, are we done with the Steelers? Yeah, we're saying Jimmy Garoppolo. Yeah, I think we all agreed on Jimmy Garoppolo needs to be I there. said Garoppolo like five shows ago, yeah. so I'm all, I'm all with Jimmy. I think, he, I think he's a Haskins prototypical. Not we're, not, we're not predicting who goes there. We're saying No, well, I'm trade, saying, we're saying trade. trade. I'm saying or, trade, but I'm saying trade for Garoppolo. Yeah, trade for, yeah that's what I'm saying. <laughs> trade for <laughs> Garoppolo. Yeah, I'm being yeah, specific yeah. here. That's uh, who you guys yeah, need. Right, yeah. Um, <sighs> Cleveland Browns. John, you being in the AFC North, Cleveland Browns. AFC North champs. <laughs> that's just, that's just <laughs> he's not going to be able to say that again. Yeah, so he got that I had to say it. I had to get it out of the way. You know, we're not going to be able to Baker do it and again. Lamar are coming to town and Jimmy Garoppolo. They won the division once. That's why I said they're never going to be able and to the say it again. The whole world was like, hey, uh, <laughs> Baker, keep Baker, keep him. Franchise? I th- yeah, keep him. He's your franchise. I think Baker has potential. Yes, he's, I think he's Baker's. I think Baker's the franchise quarterback in Cleveland. Yep. Womp womp womp. <laughs> I'm with him, dude. I think you I'm guys, a Baker Mayfield train rider. I think. He, I awful, think he but. played. Yeah, that's horrible. <laughs> Man, I think he played through man, lots you, of. I think there's something going on with that guy. <laughs> yeah, it must be. <laughs> I think if you get this guy some weapons and you really go out and get some legitimate weapons, this guy has the potential to get the ball to them weapons. Don't ever do it again. <laughs> <laughs> no, I really, I really think he played through injuries to sort of because of a contract year. I think if he wasn't in the midst of a contract year, he might have actually sat and got healthy. Drew says, "This is I quote: Keep Mayfield, keep Mayfield, keep Mayfield." Unquote. <laughs> who's who's Drew? Who's Drew a fan of? The Packers. Packers. That's right. That's right. 
Everybody knows that. Yeah, Why'd I, you ask I, that? I don't know. It slipped my mind. I kept thinking Tim Rams, Tim Rams. I'm like, what? wait, what? hold on. Oh, we know Tim's a Ram, Rams Oh, fan. we know that. Absolutely. We know most of our fans who they like. You know, it's it's funny. Since the Super Bowl, Tim's not come into one of these and said anything about it. Tim's a good freaking fan, aren't I right? guess so. He got over, dude. It was like three weeks ago. Yeah. You never get over winning the Super Bowl. Yes, you do. Let me tell you something. Do. If you Cleveland do. wins the Super Bowl, I'm going ape shit for a year. I'm just telling you guys now. That's exactly why they'll never win. I hope. I hope. They <laughs> yeah, you're the reason they won't win. I yeah, know. you're the reason. I know. <laughs> they don't want to hear you for a year. I know. Uh, so what speaking do you got, of Tim, he just starts watching. <laughs> <laughs> Tim, hey, we were Tim, talking how about you. Why are you so far behind all the time, bro? <laughs> Drew just said Tim <laughs> just tuned in. <laughs> um. Well, I don't think I. I. <laughs> So, okay, honesty, looking at it from a sports perspective and not being no, a biased No, Baker Mayfield fan, hater. I am a hater. You give him one more year. I don't think he's a franchise. I don't think he's the future of Cleveland, but I think you give him one more year. I know. I understand. I mean, this is the final year of his contract, I believe. It is. They picked up the option. But there was the injury that happened and the Odell stuff. <laughs> There's and, Tim, Super Bowl champs. Oh, go Rams horns go. up. <laughs> wow, I was wrong. He said it. <laughs> Um, I, I think you got to give him one more year. You don't draft. You're not drafting for a quarterback because Cleveland is built to win. So if Baker doesn't last next year, if it doesn't pan out, you go get one. So as of now, you ride with him. You see what happens. One more year as much as I don't want to, but I think that's what you need to do. That's the thing. So the last, the last one up here, because, because of what was put in the news, if Kyler Murray moves on from the Cardinals, what would the Cardinals do? I think you'd have to go out and trade. They're built to win. I think they would have to to try to to trade for somebody. I think they have. <clears throat> Where do you put the Cardinals if they trade Murray for Wilson? I think kind of the same quarterback. They no, are no, I mean, Wilson's more by of a scrambler. He's more of a scrambler. I mean, Russell Wilson was in was, the beginning of his career. I'm saying. Kyler isn't even near the level of what Russell was, Wilson is right now. It ain't even remotely close. And I don't. And I'm gonna say it. And I don't. And I don't know if you guys agree. He's never had a DeAndre Hopkins to throw to. Wilson being Wilson. Now Metcalf would have other words to say about that if you asked him that. Yeah, but he's still nowhere close to DeAndre Hopkins. Well, I know, but in his opinion, yeah. he's the best. No yeah, and they, oh, and they, yeah, in his opinion, he's better than everybody. But <laughs> you said go get Kurt Warner back. <laughs> So, oh I don't think they're eliminated in the first round with Russell Wilson as their quarterback this year. They were got eliminated because of Kyler Murray's absolutely horrendous play as, at the quarterback position. Maybe. On, on Russell Wilson. Mm. 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 I'm just curious to see, because th let's be honest. No one expected when Russell Wilson got drafted that Russell Wilson would do what he did. Well, no. No one expected him to even really. He's drafted, what, the fifth round? Yeah, it's fifth, fourth or fifth round. Yeah. No, one, no one expected that. It's the same thing with Tom Brady. Nobody expected that shit. So, I'm curious to see, is he a system quarterback? Or is I, he going to be the quarterback? And I'm not saying he's not. Don't tell you that. I'm just asking. Uh, or is he the type of quarterback that's going to go anywhere and make any team better? I think, he, I think he goes anywhere and does that. And that's a valid point. You could I mean, legitimately say that about everybody but Brady and Manning in Montana. Not really. Yes, you can. No. Because they're the only three that actually legitimately had tons of success after leaving their team. I mean, Stafford. Favre well, had I mean, success Stafford after he left year. Green Bay. <laughs> huh? Favre had success after he left Green, like Green Bay. He took Minnesota to the NFC Championship game. So we could also say, okay, well, you know. Is Dak Prescott a system quarterback since he only succeeds in Dallas for six years? No, I'm or if he was a, is with Joe Burrow as good as what I Joe Burrow what is? I think if he's not saying good that because Cincinnati. he was drafted in the fifth round. Like he had to be groomed. He's done it for to ten be, straight to years to be a good quarterback. But under but it goes back Pete's to the system. it goes back to the argument that we had. What system? They've changed everything for him. He's well, he's well, lost this, a running back and he still succeeds. But, but this is this goes back to the conversation we had for Nick Foles. They built that offense to make it work for him. Mm -hmm. Is that something that maybe that they did for? And I'm not saying that. I'm just throwing this out there as an argument and a point. Is 
is that something they did for Russell Wilson? Did they build that offense? Did Nick Foles to, have you know what continual I mean? success in the NFL? No. But I'm still saying he wanted. Well, he left I, that system. My afterwards. point is they built that. They built that offense when they won the Super Bowl to for his for him to help him win. Is that what they did in C- Seattle with Russell? And I'm not like I said. I'm not saying it is. Did why, they, why, but why do we always do this when a big name quarterback has to leave or wants to leave? Well, is he a system quarterback? That's it's almost irrelevant to talk about when this guy's been completely great for ten straight years, and we're legitimately going to say just maybe he's a system. quarterback. But how many quarterbacks have we seen go to another team and fail? How we've many seen, have we've we seen not? A lot. How many greats have we seen hey, that hey, have we failed? We had the same. Everybody was having the same conversation about when Brady left, saying, "Is he a system quarterback in New England? Yeah. Will he be able to thrive in Tampa Bay? Would he be but able to be him?" It's a good. And he, and he, and it's he, a good point, though. It's it not is, like it's it not a I'm good saying, point. I'm they saying, didn't have that. Did no one had ever that had that conversation about Peyton Manning? People said that because Tom Brady had so much success in New England. They did not People say, did that, say about, that about Peyton Manning. They did not say that about Peyton Manning. I never I, heard I that heard it. one time about them saying Peyton Manning might not be a good quarterback when he goes to Denver. Did you ever hear that? I heard it. I personally, no, I didn't hear it personally, but I'm not saying it didn't happen. I don't he think said anybody he it, said so. Brett Favre was going to suck because he's a system quarterback when he left Green Bay. I think certain quarterbacks you can say that about. Certain you quarterbacks so are you, just so that you, good. So he you don't so butthurt when we bring up Russell Wilson. No, because you guys Russell Wilson. No, because you guys are saying him. I don't get your argument. No, I'm not that. saying. Got, I'm just asking a simple question. Is it? it I'm asking. I'm not saying that that's the case. I'm simply asking a question to bring a debatable subject. I'm not saying that's the case. So stop saying I'm saying that's the case. That's I'm pretty much asking, what you're, you're no. asking a question yeah. because that's what you believe. So, so how is it? No, that's not oh, what I believe. I'm still it's saying, a simple question. I'm still saying that. I, I, it, it is a is it a valid point because like I said, Where's everybody, the valid point everybody brought about it up it? about Brady too. Is he a system guy or is he not? And then we found out he's not a system guy. He could do it. I think the only reason they it's brought that up is because someone was digging. They were digging for a flaw no, I in think Tom what it Brady is, is because he was drafted in the sixth round. Russell was drafted. Oh my in like god, the he had twenty round. years of experience before he exactly. left. Brent said all quarterbacks are system quarterbacks, and he said you got to be in the right system. That's absolutely fucking true. No, some quarterbacks create the system. They create the system that they're around. You build around a quarterback. They create the system. Okay, that's, so the, if he goes, that's the point. If he goes to Arizona, the system is already there. They have a scrambling quarterback. Russell Wilson is a scrambling dual-threat quarterback. He isn't now in year 11, but he was early in his career. So they're taking him into a situation where it's already a spread-wide offense with this the ability to run. This is a lose argument. How come it's always it's a Luke argument. Our argument when I say something? It's because we're trying. To, you're doing the same thing to us. You're saying our my, my question's invalid because why do we got to do that? We only do it. Well, it's a, it's a valid point to ask that question. It, can he go somewhere else and sustain the same production that he did in Seattle? It's a legitimate question. Same when we asked for Tom Brady. Same when they asked for other quarterbacks that left. They only asked it for Tom Brady, and I'm still telling you, they, they were digging for a reason to find a flaw into that man. I don't care what they were digging for. There were a lot of people talking about it. Is he just a patriot? Is he Bill Belichick system Could have been because he was a 20 years, years in one system. They talked about it for years that he was just a system guy. That's the only reason he thrived in, in New England was because of Belichick's system. And then he went to Tampa, and they're like, well, let, let's see if he can do it. Let's see if he's just a product yeah, he of shut Belichick's. That up real quick, he did. He? Yeah, he well, shut that kinda, up real quick. But he, he still had to go out and get talent to bring it in. Kind of. He shut that up in a heartbeat. I mean, he, he won a Super Bowl. So His very first year there, and then he, he should have been MVP this year. So I'm just saying, so. it is a, a legitimate question to ask if, if a quarterback who's been in the same system for that long, can they sustain in somebody else's system somewhere else? Can they? I'm not saying it's not a valid question question but why wouldn't that team if they brought him in or trade for him you're not you're never going to know because they're going to legitimately go and give him exactly what the exactly what the resume shows on what he succeeds in they have a good running back they have good receivers they have a good defense everything he had in seattle he would then get in arizona so you're pretty much what system are the they're not, they don't have to change nothing. So he's pretty much walking into the same exact system. Okay, so you're agreeing he would work in that system. I think he works in any system is what I'm saying. I think if you pull Joe Burrow out, he works in any system. If you pull Dak Prescott, he works in any system. They have, they have, they're talented enough that they, you build around them. They are the system. I don't think he would work in Cleveland. Yeah, Brent says <clears throat> Lamar Jackson couldn't run the offense. Brady runs. All quarterbacks have to be in the right system. Okay, that's, that is 100% valid because what does he do best? He runs. Brady is a pocket passer. So obviously you would have to completely tailor-made a system around Lamar Jackson's legs. You put Lamar Jackson in Arizona, he fits in just fine. 
because that system is already in place. Correct? Yeah. So if, yeah, if you take him over and send him to, I don't know, Bruce Arians, it probably doesn't work because Bruce Arians likes that pocket passer. His offense is built on throwing the football. Like I said, there's certain quarterbacks you could see is going to work. Like when Phillip Rivers went to the Indy, you knew that was going to work. He just, they, they, they're, they're going to let the ball fly. That's exactly what he did over in San Diego. And with Peyton Manning, I, I know what you said. You saw it, but I didn't see it. But I felt you're going to Denver. It's a high-flying offense now. And that's all they're going to do is let Peyton do what Peyton did in Indy. You just exactly <clears throat> said what I said. I know, but right. I'm still saying there are some quarterbacks where you're like. Yeah, Jimmy Garoppolo, you might question. They've been with a system for so long. Is it? I'm, if they I get just, out of I that system, get does it work somewhere questioning else? greats. Greats of the game. You're questioning their ability to go to another team and succeed. That is yeah, that's what that's, that's the part I don't legitimate. agree with. If you want to question anybody else, <clears throat> you'd put Ross Wilson the audience. In the top audience, 10 in audience, the, in would the you, is that a legitimate question? I want to ask the audience: Is it a legitimate question to, to question see if a, great. A, guy, if a guy who's been it's on team for a while? It's not questioning any quarterback can, that goes in another can situation. Can they stay somewhere else? It's I not know just a great. I want, I want to see what they think. I want to see if they if they agree. Or so you guys can ask Bobby if they question Brett Favre when he left Green Bay about being able to go to another team and win. Well, yeah, because remember, he was going to the age. Jets, <laughs> and he was old as fuck, and they were like, it ain't going to work. The Jets, I thought and he went, he went Jets, to Minnesota first. No, he went to the Jets first, and it Oh, he had work. to do that little trade, and yeah, they got rid of him. he had to play yeah. for a year, and it yeah. was fucking they did, horrible. They didn't want to send him and to And that's when everybody's like, he division. should retire. He, he played like shit. And then he went to Minnesota, and he takes the NFC Championship game. But it was, once again... It was Brett Favre doing what Brett Favre. It was just go out there and throw the ball. You're not gonna you're not gonna move his game. So he is the system. Is what I'm saying. I said some guys are great. That's what I'm saying. Some Greats guys are. are. Greats are. And and Russell Wilson, if he ended his career today, do you put him in a top ten quarterback? No, but he doesn't probably fall past the top fifteen. And if you're a top twenty five quarterback of all time, you're fucking great. If he retired today, is he a Hall of Famer? Yes, he's a Hall of Famer. Why? I just think he, just what he does, he's got a Super Bowl win. He's never been an MVP, which sucks because of the fact that I think he's just, some of his hey, seasons have been Grayson overlooked. said hi. I want you to say hi back. Hey, hi, buddy. Hi. Um, he's heated, guys. Give him a minute. No, some of his <laughs> seasons have been overlooked. Uh, we've seen what he's done. When he took his running back away, everybody this, said, this well, his running what, back's gone. Let's see what this, he can do. This is what Bobby said. Bobby, he said Brady and Wilson both had defenses when they won their championships with poor, you know, we, uh, with poor defense, they struggled. Did they struggle? He had 42 touchdowns after Marshawn Lynch and his defense left. He threw for 40 touchdowns and he struggled. Get out of here with that nonsense. Get out of here with that. 40 touchdowns and struggling is un insane to even think. <laughs> I, I thought Marshawn that. was still there during that time. Nope. He was gone. That was the, it was the following year. Legion of Boom was <laughs> broke up. <clears throat> He just came off, not this year, the year prior, 37 touchdowns. He's struggled I'm, without a defense and a running I'm back. I'm agreeing with John. I think it's a legitimate question to ask if a guy can move on to another system. I don't care how long he's been playing in the NFL. It's not it's questioning their, their greatness, question. as you call it. It's just making a valid point. Can they go to another team? So would you say that, say that about Joe Burrow, then? Does he get drafted by Cincinnati? The only reason he was good is because Cincinnati. We've had that same. We've had this argument. So is that, is that what you say, We've had the then? same argument. Is that I've what said you it say? before. If you put Joe Burrow on another team... Maybe he doesn't do it. You good. have never said that. Uh, yes, we've had. When we stood in this kitchen and had that argument. <laughs> I haven't heard that from you yet. You've said you think he's good and no matter who drafted him. Is it your exact that words? That is not my exact words. I have never said Joe Burrow is that good that he could just be good anywhere he goes. Because I made, made last year the question. I've told you numerous times, I'm not sold on Joe Burrow yet. We sat I, said, I said if they didn't bring Chase in, I don't think Burrow does as good. We sat in this kitchen, and every player we named that was a Bengal, you Dude, said there was nobody was better whole, than him. That was a whole fucking joke thing. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. No, I don't believe it was. Because I don't I'm a believe it was. Or, did I not laugh about it every time? He did. Well, uh, Joe Mixon was the only one he laughed about. He legitimately said he believes Jamar Chase is better than, than he, Justin Jefferson. He thought real hard about putting Herbert above Joe Burrow. No, he didn't. Yes, yes he I did. did. He didn't answer when? right away. When we asked him the question, he you, didn't answer you didn't right even, away. When we ranked our top five quarterbacks, I you didn't even I say anything about my. When we ranked my, our <laughs> top five quarterbacks, you didn't even want to put Justin Herbert in the top five. But you had Joe Burrow locked as a top five quarterback. No, I didn't. I said, I said Joe Burrow could go as six. You two were fighting over where they were going to go. I said, I'd be fine with six. You're wise. No, you said you'd be fine Is with five. Is that not true? I, I threw a fit about it. He said five. That he'd be fine with five. I don't know. Why are we talking about Joe Burrow? <laughs> no, because I believe that if Joe Burrow was drafted by the Jets, he might not be that good. I believe that part I of the reason that. he's good is You're because he's on the worst he team in football. 
So if you stick him, well, if, you, you, if you replace well, how him. How do you want it? Let me, tell me how you want your plate prepared and I'll give it to you. If you Go put, ahead. If you put Russell Wilson. <laughs> hey, stupid. If you put Russell Wilson with the Jets and the team that's assembled in the Jets right now, they're not a fucking playoff team with Russell Wilson there. No. <laughs> so you made my point. Okay. So you stick so there a rookie are systems quarter. that so they you, can go to that they if, might not be so successful in. No, that's a team. That's not just a saying. system. That's a team. Just saying. A team, not a system. That's a poorly developed and poorly. That's a poor team. Yep. They have no talent there. It's a poor system. No, the system is what you run an offense in. That's a fucking system, not a goddamn team. Right. And they can bring their in a system fucking system on offense system is and it garbage, work. just like in Jacksonville. <laughs> garbage. <laughs> No, their quarterback plays probably garbage. I don't care what quarterback you put there; it ain't gonna be successful. Well, then what is it? So your it's system in, in Cleveland sucks. It does. Oh yeah, because they won eleven games the prior year. Yeah, so and it they has won to eight suck. this year, didn't they? Yeah. No, how many yeah, injuries how, how did they have? How far back you want to dig? I can get. I can go to two thousand seven. They won ten. You want to bring that year up? Let's talk about current right now. I did just talk about current games, right now. Eight games. What and they how won. many injuries did That's they have? A shitty. System. How many injuries did they have? I don't have? care how many they had. I don't care if the whole fucking football team fell off the planet. <laughs> Eight games is what you yep, gave and me. And then if they win 13 games next year, shut the fuck up Let's with it. Let's see if they can. Let's That's what I was saying. Can. Do not root for the Browns next year, please. <laughs> Don't do it, please. Because it's every year with a fucking Browns fan. Yeah. <laughs> It is. Go it be it a never Dallas stops. Fan. You can be a jackass your whole life. Well, that's fine with me. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't bother me. Listen to that bullshit. We have, we every have five Super Bowls. How many and you got? Play and cry. Every how many time you got? How many, how many Super Bowls you got? How, how many you got in the last thirty years? Oh, we got hey, one. None. None. Hey. Wait, okay, hey. so you're wrong again. We won it in ninety five. Twenty five years. Hey, you're so hey. smart. Yeah. False, <laughs> false advertisement again by Mike Mooney. Hey, have the have the Dallas won a Super Bowl since you've been a fan? They've won three since you've been a fan. Yeah, no, I started alive. watching it. Not, my very first Super Bowl was 95 when they won one. I can tell you right where we were at. I can tell you the road we lived on and who was in there. We don't need to know all that. I just ask it. <laughs> I mean, has Cincinnati won one since you've been alive and been a fan? Uh, we've been there. <laughs> has the Browns been one? Yeah, I know. So have we. And we won one. Um, has has the Browns? No, no, they haven't. So I still, I, I just, you guys are. Acting like I'm saying that your question is invalid. I just don't like how you question great on <laughs> moving on. Tim goes, uh, Drew said, let's get it. Let's boys get it. And then Drew goes, or Tim goes, it, it is. Laugh my ass. Got that Laura Scott in him for sure. Laugh my ass off. Oh, I don't. Because I, I question something that you guys are questioning. Everybody's firing at me too. <laughs> We're all firing. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean. That's what makes it fun. That's great. So, what's the next one? That was all of them. <laughs> So Many weed beans are quiet for now. <laughs> that was. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Let's go another. One. We need another team. Let's get this heated. What about the Chicago Bears? Justin Fields. Trade. <laughs> <laughs> Mooney. Justin Fields. Oh, he's pouting. He's not going to talk no more. He got yelled at. I say trade him. Get him out of there. I say keep him. I think uh, yeah, we'll figure out. He has he potential. Does, we, like we we go back to the Carson Wentz thing. He's only been there one year. Yeah, and he's getting a he's getting a whole new system and a whole new team. Hey, Bobby said uh, Burrow is today's boomer. Boomer what? Sison. So what's he mean by that? Boomer was a good quarterback. When... So is he like uh, saying he could one year he'll be good, <laughs> another year he won't? <laughs> <laughs> Bobby said you both should hug. <laughs> Mooney always gets quiet when he gets mad. It'll happen every time. So if you guys don't hear him, he's fucking pissed off. Hugs for everyone, Tim said. Hugs for everyone. I'm not fucking hugging either one of you two. <laughs> I think sometimes John does that on purpose just because he knows people get fired up. Does what? Question someone's greatness. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I wasn't questioning his greatness. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> oh, no. It's fun. It's a, it's, a, it's a blast until Mooney goes quiet because he's pissed off for some reason. Are you good, Mooney? You getting back in here, dude? You going to chime in? Drew said he'll hug you. No, fuck that, Drew. You hugged too hard. You said that Boomer was a good quarterback. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I just knew, saying. I knew he was. What he was. said. He's Who said it? <laughs> Bobby. Bobby. I don't know what to say to this. Uh, That's what I was going to say. Is he going to be mediocre and get you uh, some wins every now and then? That's what I remembered Boomer being. Boomer Esiason is 80 and 93 is his record. 
He went to the Super Bowl. He's 37,920 yards passing, 247 touchdowns, 184 interceptions. His completion percentage for his career is 57. He went to the Super Bowl. That's all that matters, Mooney. <laughs> He's never thrown 4,000 yards. 3,900 was the best. He's had a, a lot of 2,000-yard <laughs> passing seasons. Mooney was over there researching. I don't see where he's back. a good quarterback. He led him to a Super Bowl. <laughs> so, it's, oh, that's what he's saying. I get what Bobby's saying. He's saying Joe Burrow's never going to do it again. You hold your tongue. That's what he said. You hold your tongue. Bobby, you, you correct me if I'm wrong. Is that what you mean by that? Let's hope not. <laughs> <laughs> Just think about it, guys. All three of us sitting at this table. Y'all all like Wendy's? He Bobby for, wants to know. He played for 14 years. I like years. Wendy's. Me too. He played for 14 years, and he had five seasons that were 500 or better. Five. That's right. That's more season than Cleveland's had in the last 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> True. But he's still a shitty quarterback. <laughs> he's not that good. Could Baker be better than him? Bobby said he had to win all his games himself is what he means. And he is not anything like Joe Burrow. Joe Burrow's got tons of weapons. He had to win games himself. I him. didn't watch a whole lot of boomers. And so. Icky Woods is running back. Oh, I'm so tired of hearing about Icky. The Icky Shuffle. <laughs> he was a good running back in the eighties. <laughs> I don't know a lot about Boomer. I just what I've what I've always heard about him, I always just always heard he was a bit mediocre, average quarterback in the league. Ken Anderson was better than him. You bringing us some Wendy's, Bobby? Yeah, are you is that what he's doing? Is he bringing us Wendy's? Spicy chicken sandwich. Okay. What's I don't know. They got a new one. Hot honey chicken sandwich. I don't try that. Is Sounds he bringing good. us Wendy's or something? I don't know. He said we love Wendy's. I, I mean, I don't, know. I don't know. Maybe her name's Wendy. I mean, <laughs> I think I'm, I'm, I'm frosty. Cupies. I like Cupies a lot better. Shout out to Cupies. I, I know, love fat Cupies. Ass. See, you eat it. Uh, you you <laughs> ate more than me. You ate a double cheeseburger and a single. I almost thought why you buy 100 pounds, so it's okay. <laughs> and a piece of pie and a fry. I had a donut. Bobby said one year, bud. I don't know what he meant. What'd he say? One year, bud. I don't know what he meant. Oh, so he's saying he was only good for one year. You're only going to get there one year. No, I, no I, I, was, I think he meant that he's only had talent for one year. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, that's what I know he means. I'm just fucking with you, John. Drew said Super Bowl shuffle. So, Usa. That was did the you, Bears. Usa. Wasn't that the Bears? What? They did yeah, the Super Bowl shuffle. Jim McMahon. 1985. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, Wendy's I, nuts. <laughs> 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 he's always <what> he said. <laughs> 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 fucking Bobby. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> so I really hope you guys liked our uh, <laughs> tra that's a, our trade, keep, our franchise. It got a bit heated, and we weren't even on that. <laughs> Had nothing to do with what you're talking oh, about. It's so much fun, though. This is why us three pair so well. Um, Drew is supposed to be back, hopefully, if you don't have to work 12 hours days. We'll, we'll hug it next out after Tuesday. we get off. Oh, we have a blast, man. We do this constantly, not on air. Mm -hmm. Um, So it's... It's fun. We love it. Mooney, it's like a little chest pounding in there. Mooney, you feel better now? <laughs> Mooney, do you feel better now? First pick. <laughs> All right, guys. Hey, our one hour's up, man. We're trying to keep it right at that one hour. Uh, I really hope you guys absolutely enjoyed our show. Um, we will be back next Tuesday and be prepared for our stutter dud. Uh, we're going to see if we can't stump you guys. You stutter all the time. So it's okay. <laughs> stutter dud. Oh, stutter. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I just caught on to that. Anyways, yeah, I hope you guys will be we'll be back next next Tuesday, six thirty, um, like usual. Be safe out there, guys, with this weather coming. Up. I'm Mike Ash. I'm Jay. I'm gonna hit Mike in the face. I mean, big country. <laughs> hey man, we're out of here. Jeez.